aka Peace Peace. This is your brother Saad Nwaka. Coming to you with lesson number nine. We're dealing with the eighth sphere, the tree of life. This would be known to the ancient Egyptians as Sebek. The Sebek faculty. Okay, now we're coming into the logical lane. This is the realm of the intelligence, right? We're talking about the brain, basically. Um, your logical faculty, you know. Um, we're talking about people, we will be looking at people like Dr. Spock. You know what I'm saying? If you know anything about the, all my old Trekkie heads out there, know Dr. Spock was a very logical dude. Uh, Data, the new Trekkie, was also uh, was all about your uh, braininess. We're talking about the faculty of intelligence. We're talking about, you know, book smart, right? To be distinguished from high wisdom, right? There, there are people who actually believe that this level, the eighth sphere of the tree of life, is the highest level or the high, you know, one of the higher levels. You know, um, these are people who are ignorant of some of the upper spheres. Like, you know, um, you know, Sebek is is definitely smart, but it's not wisdom. It's information, but it's not knowledge. Now we're getting into when you're talking about, you know, knowledge. You're dealing with the high spheres, the lofty Tehuti faculty. You know, where there's all knowing, where you know you need not a lot of words and definitions for knowledge. You know, and up in the faculty, we're talking about direct perception of reality. Whereas down here in the A sphere, we're talking about having a lot of information. It's a different thing. Information is not experience of. Right? So then it's not knowledge. Right? You know, this is where man separates things based on externals based on what they look like what they appear to be on the outside man will uh, make distinctions distinguish things this is where naming occurs and labeling of things right this is where you make the distinction from you know um, there used to be a time when a vegetarian was a person that didn't eat meat well, then Sebek came along and said, well, wait a second. I want to eat meat, but I also want to be part of that progressive movement with regard to diet. And so I'm going to say that if you are uh, if you eat chicken or you eat fish, then you can be a vegetarian. While if you don't eat any meat, you're a vegan. Yeah, that's what you are. You're a vegan. So that's, you know, your boy comes along and says, no, that's a trick. Vegetarians are vegetarians are vegetarian. You know what I'm saying? There's no such thing as a vegan. It's a Sebek trick. But, you know, it is what it is. You know, Sebek has a place in this world, so, you know, we rock with it. I'm a vegan. Alright, moving along. You know, we're talking about one of the, the, the learning and programming faculties as well, right? Like or set, Sebek can look at something and imitate it. Uh, learning through imitation, learning through uh, repetition. You know, this is where you find affirmations. You know, go in the back of the class and write, "I will not throw things in the classroom fifty thousand times." You know, that's a Sebek thing, right? We're talking about the belief system as well, because Sebek is all about the ears. Sebek is that which hears its way through, right? Sebek doesn't deal with um, uh, concrete proof. Sebek deals with belief. It's like Sebek, through the Sebek faculty, we hear something and it agrees with something in us. So we say, yeah, I'm rocking with that, right? I believe this versus I need empirical proof of X, Y, Z, right? Let's see the evidence. You know, this would be, you know, the Heru faculty, you know, um, the Tehuti faculty, you know, upper faculty. 
know, hear a setback, you can hear something and you can rock with it because of maybe, you know, there is a sentimental uh, value in it or something else. You know, maybe it just sounds good, looks good. Maybe you just like it, right? We're in the, the, the knife sphere again, right? But yeah, yeah, here, this is all about the belief system because, you know, they say that setback is the opener of the way, right? But setback can also be the closer of the way because the things that you believe can open your way. And also the things that you don't believe can close your way to that thing, right? If you don't believe that fire will burn you, then you'll stick your hand in fire and get burned. Your way is closed. It's all about the things that you believe, what your mind accepts. And again, it's based on what you heard, what you think you learned about the situation, right? Uh, versus what you experience, right? So Sebek is, you know, the smarty pants, right? Sebek is the, the smart guy, smart Alec, the smart one, right? Um, you know, again, there's book knowledge, right? There is the digestion of a lot of books, the uh, acquiring of a lot of words, right? Uh, vocabulary, um, you know, but again, you know, don't come to the Sebek level and think that you are now wise, right? That's why in the, the text on uh, Tehuti, you see that Tehuti is sometimes accompanied by a dog-faced baboon, right? And, you know, again, people who uh, are mere scholars of ancient Egypt sometimes refer to Tehuti as the baboon. But, you know, that again, is that's a misunderstanding. You know, it's a way to understand that that Sebekian faculty is what imitates wisdom and, you know, looks upon wisdom and, you know, attempts to emulate wisdom if it's going positive right if it's a, if it's positive then it's aware of its limitation of uh you know of of, of knowing right and uh and it follows to Houthi, right um right so that boom you know is actually sebek that's just a faculty of sebek sebek has many many different uh, uh ways to refer to him in ancient egypt you know, there was, you know, Sebek. You look at the crocodile-headed deity. That was an aspect of Sebek, you know. Um, Ampu is Sebek. Anubis is Sebek. Epuet is Sebek. Um, all at the same time. You know, these are all different aspects of the same faculty. So, you know, this is how Sebek kind of manifests in the mind of humans, right? In the brain Wow, this video is already long and I ain't nowhere near finished. Boy, I tell you what, I got my Sebek faculty on today. All right, check it out. Oh, Sebek, well, that reminds me. Sebek is about conversation, right? When somebody got the quote unquote, the raps, they got Sebek. They've been hit by that Sebek bug. So, you know, I guess that would be me right now because I'm going on and on. Uh, I wanted to finish this inside of eight minutes, but it didn't happen. So, Right, so so that's Sebek inside of the head, right? You know, and there's even more to say about that, right? Sebek also is like, you know, uh, opinions and beliefs, right? Here in America, we have this thing about, you know, well, it is my opinion that, and I'm entitled to my opinion that X, Y, Z, yada, yada. Well, I mean, in all reality, okay, yeah, you, you, I, I suppose you have the right to your opinion in this modern day Western society. But if your opinion is not based on something that's real, then your opinion is not valid. So, you know, um, so there's no place for it, in other words. Not in, you know, if we're dealing with realness, reality, you know what I'm saying? Um, there's no place, no, no, there's really actually no place for opinion, you know? So, you know, Sebek is the eighth sphere, the tree. Again, we're talking about the lower division, that lower third of the of the tree that lower third of the spirit which we call the sahu right which is concerned with you know external aspects the lower aspects of life again be careful when you attempt to exalt the sahu you know higher than what it should be right so we look out of the world you know we see sebek is uh the planet mercury 
right? So all those things associated with Mercury, you see in some of what I said before, you know, intelligent, braininess, uh, reading, stuff like that, right? Sebek is the trickster, right? All of the trickster gods throughout the various um, pantheons, right? Alegba, the Yoruba, uh, there's Kokopeli, Hopi, you know, um, Hod, you know, um, all these, uh, the, the messenger gods, these are all Sebek gods, right? Mercury itself, that's, that's all that's based on Sebek, right? The trickster, the comedian, right? Um, it is my opinion that your brother Eddie Murphy was Sebek walking around on this earth. You know what I'm saying? This was a, you know, this guy, he was just a funny dude. Like, you know, he was, he was the manifestation of, of that Sebekian faculty. Dude could do imitations, he could act, you know what I'm saying? He was, you know, swift, just real swift character. Anyway, also you got uh, Bernie Mac. Bernie Mac, is, he's, he's one of the best. You got to give it up, Bernie Mac. Anyway, um, and there's others, right? So we're talking about wittiness. We're talking about, you know, uh, even charmingness, right? But that's more so kind of a little piece of that, of the next sphere, the seventh sphere. But we're going to talk about that some more, right? Sebek governs students, right? In, the, in places of learning, right? Um, also, um, young men tend to be Sebeki in the nature. When young dudes get together, it's all about joking, playing, having fun. It's all about your, your mother so fat jokes, you know what I'm saying? You know, the dozens, you know what I mean? We're busting on each other, you know, we're ragging on each other. We're having fun. You know, we're playing games, jokes on people, throwing eggs at people's cars. You know how I was when you was a teen. Anyway, um, there's a lot to be said about Sebek. There's, um, I think one thing that I, that I need to go into a little bit more is about when you look at ancient Egypt and the information about ancient Egypt that exists now, what you find is that most of us get our information from people who don't have a strong right side input. When I talk about right side, I'm talking about Sebek is the left side of the brain, right? So Sebek is concerned with many external aspects of the thing, whereas the right side of the brain is now uh, the inner understanding, right? You get intuition on the right side of the brain. You get, you know, excuse me, levels of understanding that you couldn't get through just that left side of the brain. So you have a lot of scholars who, one, didn't quite understand what they were looking at in these hieroglyphics and these scripts that they were able to decipher. They didn't understand these things, these concepts, these were weird concepts to them, because they were predominantly left brain, right? And that's one. And on the, the other side was that, you know, a lot of these people didn't appreciate the fact that it was black folks, the same people that they were trying to, they, they were trying to say were inferior, who actually came up with these things in ancient Egypt. So, and then they went on to write books about what they saw. So now, you know, you got brothers who are well-studied, quote-unquote, Egyptologists, who are quoting the wrong stuff, you know, because you're studying the wrong people. You know what I'm saying? This is why, again, you, you hear me shout out Shechem, Shechem's name, you know, a lot, but, you know, the reason for that is because this is an individual who is a priest, you know, first and foremost. You know, before being a scholar, this is someone who has the ability to go into trance now and communicate with ancestors who were there, right? To understand what to come back now and teach. You know what I'm saying? And not only that, but, you know, he has allowed me, helped me to be able to do the same damn thing, right? Give me the same tools, right? To be able to understand how to go into trance now. Right, chant the Sebek and come out with a message from a Sebekian on the inner plane. You know what I'm saying? How to invoke, right, that Sebek faculty to now gain or get knowledge, right? Because that's that's the other side of it, right? One side of knowledge is about reading a book. The other side is about, you know, why well, I say one side of knowledge about ancient Egypt is about reading a book and, you know, uh, uh, contemplating what you read, right? 
the other side is about invoking a deity you know you have to invoke Heru to understand what Heru is about right you have to invoke you know Tehuti to understand what you know that faculty is 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 about you know um you know this is higher level of learning than just merely deciphering some code right or, or reading some text that's just that's that's a distinction that we have to make watch who you get your knowledge from because a mere scholar cannot show you how to properly apply ma'at as the, you know as applied in comedic scriptures a mere scholar who's unpracticed in right brain intuition depth level meditation cannot show you the depth true understanding of these concepts so watch that okay so that's that right on the uh, physiology right we're talking about uh, nervous system disorders right uh, also things that affect the neurological processes you know um, we're talking about things like Parkinson's disease you know multiple sclerosis things that affect the motor uh, systems as well um, phobias right mental uh, uh mental thing mental illness things like this epilepsy some of those are uh, some of the conditions that can be associated with sebac sphere right so again you know just to to run it back you get a sebac reading you know you, you want to look at you know um are you studying are you studious right um you want to look at your belief system right you want to pay attention to details right you want to look at are you getting your nerdiness on right you know because we you know most of us real cool but we don't got no nerdiness you need some nerdiness you need a healthy amount of nerdiness everybody need a healthy amount of nerdiness so yeah your brother said it right uh what else some of the things that i just spoke about right so you know are you hearing your way or are you investigating right things like that you want to look at when you get a civic ride a lot more to be said this is already 17 minutes so i'm going to shorten it cut it right here and i'm gonna say peace and love and i'm gonna catch y'all in the next one peace